Hey guys, Matt, Iron Trap Garage, and today we're going to do a little video on the Track T. So in the last uh, video, I was doing a bunch of welding on the chassis. We got everything fixtured into the chassis table, got it all welded up and boxed, and uh, all the repairs done in basically one video, which was very nice. And now we need to cut it out of the table and turn the car into a roller. So I'm going to keep like we do with a lot of these old hot rods and race cars and things we're going to keep the uh, the identity of the car keeping the engine and most of the body modifications the same but we're going to change some of the safety and a couple of little things with the look so number one uh, the old axle that was underneath of it was a model a that was kind of cobbled together with the steering and all the different stuff on it that um, i wanted to change out and two i wanted it to look a little cooler so we're going to be putting a chrome V860 uh, tube axle underneath of it. A lot of the old race cars you see in the old pictures, they had tube axles, especially chrome. Um, so I have some extras, so we're going to be putting that on. Um, we also have uh, some wheels and tires. I have some tiny little front runners that we got actually at the Beasley Estate, which was where we got all the Oldsmobile stuff. Brand new 15 inch front runner uh, tires, which will be perfect on this. And uh, yeah, we're just going to set a bunch of stuff up and then hopefully, fingers crossed, by the end, we could set the body on, sit in it, and make some motor noises. So let's get started. See how much
Here, I'll get in the front if you two want to get in the back. Oh, I and at the center. Yep. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah, it is on. Okay. It's a little bit down there, but it's on. Um. Yeah, we're good. So the front. We'll see what the front does without having a. Which one? Now, should I lift it up? Well, you guys just see here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's good. 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 Yep. So, yeah. so we will have to make wishbone now that will. Is this yeah. wishbone? Yeah. So we'll need to remember the plates we took off. Yeah. We we'll need to figure out where they need to go mm -hmm. with these wishbones. How I have them on the front. Maybe we need to come in more. There you go. Yep. So now we need to make a clamp for this. Mm -hmm. Bolt or something. Yeah. yeah. That's that looks good. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, so I think we need to just put some U-bolts in. Mm -hmm. um, and then we can set the body down. Even if we just put them in the rear for now. Yeah. That'll keep the frame from yeah. flipping. Straighten out some of the vents and there. Yeah, it goes about there. Roughly. It may oh wait, here we go. Yeah, there's a bolt that goes there. Now it lines up.
sits in on the frame there. Oh, really? No, uh, oh, yours is different. Okay. Got it. It's a reverb. some things around to get it to sit a little better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then the carburetors go. Yeah, uh, yeah. Ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah. Huh. Crazy. That's crazy. It's, it's a very poor design like this. Mm -hmm. I think the radiator cap like just fits in that oh. hole. It's such a pain in the ass. Yeah. So I may cut and modify the hood to make it yeah. work a little better. All right, so we got the uh, the frame all set up as a roller, and we decided to throw the body and some of the sheet metal on just to kind of visualize the car and see how it looks. Uh, I'm really happy with how this looks with uh, you know a better wheel and tire combo than it had originally, uh, or at least a set of wheel and wheels and tires that are you know painted, which is kind of nice. Uh, so now that we got the frame all box, we got this set up as a roller. Now we could take the step of putting the engine and trans in with the rear set where it needs to be with the torque tube. Uh, we can check the pinion angle and everything and make sure we set the engine at the right height so that everything lines up uh, and we don't have anything too high or too low. Uh, I cut out all the old stuff because I think a lot of it was probably not set up very uh, correctly and also you, like we mentioned earlier, the steering uh, was in the way of having a normal transmission in it. So we're gonna basically start from uh, from zero and put the engine and trans in get it centered and all that stuff in the next video But for now, we're gonna sit back take a look at the car and just uh, kind of visualize how cool It's gonna look when it's all together So big step on the little track T and two videos it pretty much has come a long way already Which is very very satisfying. So let me know what you think of the uh, the track T is sitting on its new wheels and tires and nice clean and strong frame Thanks guys. Catch you later